And once the sexiest woman in magic, now an aspiring literature prize winner, magic babe Ning will tell us all about her transition when we come back. Welcome back to Singapore Tonight. Well, tonight we have a studio uh, a guest uh, here who's been dubbed the sexiest woman in magic by Magic Scene, one of the UK's leading magic magazines. She's local magician Magic Babe Ning, Ning Tai, as she's formerly known, retired from her profession in 2014. But she's not just known for her magic, she's also a writer. In fact, her autobiography, Who is Magic Babe Ning, has been shortlisted for this year's Singapore Literature Prize, and she joins us here tonight. Good to have you here, Ning. Thanks for having me. So Ning, this isn't your first book. A few years ago, there was Adventures of Two Girls, co-written with, with Pamela Ho. What made you take up writing, uh, you know, even as your career in, in, in magic was growing? Well, um, writing has always been something I've always loved. In fact, when I was a teenager, I, I wrote fan fiction and published it uh, with a pen name online. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's just, um, I guess, natural that I just really want to share my story with everybody uh, because I guess um, it's kind of strange like that, uh, you know, a woman doing magic and mm. being a magician and not the assistant. So um, when I decided that I needed to take a break from, from magic after a very bad accident, um, I was actually, actually um, approached by a publisher to share my story. Mm. How has that experience been different from the one before? I mean, now it's a solo project, isn't it? Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, so the first one was uh, what, me and my best friend traveling the world. This one really was me just deciding to uh, share my story uh, with everybody and it was not an easy task writing about it because, you know, which parts do you take out, which parts do you put in? Mm. Yeah, so I'm just, um, I guess I was very surprised uh, when I was told that it was actually nominated for the Singapore Literature Prize this year. So you got a chance in the autobiography to retell perhaps some of that journey uh, of, of working as a magician. What's it been like sort of moving away from that career? I mean, it, you know, I'm sure your fans don't like to know, to think of you as being retired, but you know, you have. Yes, uh, it's been a very good 10 years plus. Uh, however, you know, what people don't see is like the, the back uh, rehearsals and, and stuff off stage. And I've had a lot of injuries. Um, which, you know, some were quite life-threatening. I've got a slip in my neck and I just felt I needed some time to take a break from this. Uh, but I guess never say never. Mm. Uh, I am quite tempted actually. I do miss it a lot. Performing is, is uh, really different from writing. I love both and sometimes I see that maybe I could possibly do both in the future. Mm. Ning, tell us what's next for you. Are we talking about a new book perhaps? Perhaps immediately a return back to magic? Uh, yeah, so I'm actually working on a third book right now mm. and uh, it's, a, it's going to come out at uh, the end of the year. It's about creativity and I'm really excited about that because uh, it's actually uh, for, for Singaporeans, for, for grown-ups and it's about you know, using your right brain, looking at things in a different way. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, Performing-wise, I don't know yet but I guess I'm keeping that open. We'll keep an eye out as well. Yeah, Ning, thank you so much for coming in to Thanks share so that with us and, and all the best with the book. We've been speaking there.